Yo, what is up guys? It's your boy Blurstrike here coming back with another video today. So I was going through the comments and everything. Someone said talk about the day you lost your virginity. So let's get right into this. So the day I lost my virginity. I don't know exactly how to start this story because I find it kind of awkward. But hey, whatever. Um, so it started off me being at my ex-girlfriend's apartment. So we're just making out and everything. And at that moment, we decided to have sex. <clears throat> and so, this is how it all went down. So, we're just making out and stuff. And then, we're about to have sex. And then her little brother, at the moment, he was around 13, 14, I don't remember what age. And I was around maybe 15, 16. And so, my ex-girlfriend was around, f fuck, I don't even remember, to be honest. Maybe around 15 at the time. And so, you know, we're about to have sex and everything, and so, making out and everything, you know, and shit. And so, once, like, I'm about to take off her shirt and whatnot, her little brother comes in to the room, and we immediately stop. And I was all like, damn, damn it, that was kind of close. And then I'm like, we're like, alright, let's just, well, we wait till he leaves the room. And once he does, we get back to things and, you know, I'm about to take off her shirt. And then my brother comes into the room because he wanted to come to her apartment so he could hang out with her brother. And so I'm like, God damn it. And so they this happens like a couple more times and I'm getting like pissed off. I'm like, you know, your boy trying to get this poo and whatnot. And so I'm all like, it's really pissing me off. And so once I'm all like... She's all like, she didn't have a locker in the room, so she couldn't lock her fucking door and all that. And so, I'm all like, damn it. And so, she suggests we should go somewhere where there's like a lock or something. And I'm all like, where is that? And then, at first, she was all like, my bathroom. And I'm like, hell no. How the fuck are we going to even do it on there? Like, your bathroom's too small. And so, I'm all like, is there any else? And then, all she said, her closet. And so, I'm all like, let me see your closet. And, you know, she like, opens her door to the closet and shit. And I check in there, I'm all like, uh... Alright, I think this will do. And at first, I'm all like, this is gonna be hard as shit to have sex in a goddamn closet for the very first time. And so we get into her closet, we get back to things, you know, we start making out, we start doing a little bit of floor foreplay and all that. And so, well, you know, things are going down. Then I find that there was a cabinet in her closet. And so I just sit her there and I begin to fuck her on top of one of her cabinets in her closet. And so, yeah, then, you know, nothing... I mean, yeah, it was, it was good, I guess you can say. I'm not sure. I don't know. It was a really awkward time. It was just a weird spot to have sex in general. But after that, I felt really fucking weird. Not like weird in a bad way, but like in a, just, I don't know. I felt light. I don't know how to quite to explain it or anything, but it felt good, I guess. I recommend not having sex in a fucking closet. Just do it on a fucking bed. It's a lot better on a fucking bed. And fuck that shit, dude. But anyways, yeah. And that was the first time. Well, not the first. That's the day I lost my virginity. Really weird time. Anyways, later guys. It's been your boy Blurstrike here. And peace.